so freaking got two free lawn mowers today <laughs> two riding mowers freaking sweet a guy messaged me on my ad on next door that said like i'll haul away lawn equipment for free anything small engine related any lawn equipment i'll haul it for free it's broken or old i put pictures of like old broken lawn mowers like ride mowers and stuff you know so i uh i got a call or a message from this guy i gave him a call and he said he had a craftsman lawn tractor and i was like oh freaking sweet bud so i went and got it and as i was manhandling that some onto the trailer he came out and he was like you know i've got another mower you can have it's like really and he gave me a freaking sweet minty snapper riding mower so i'm big piped up i went i had to return my granddad's trailer because he's golfing today i got my battery out of another ride mower that i have that i've yet to make a video on and i uh i'm gonna try and get one of these fixed so here's what the problems are on these mowers. The first one is the Craftsman lawn tractor. It's got a V-twin 21 horse intake. Where was this last year when my girlfriend's dad, uh, his 21 horse in intake blew up through two rods at once. It'd have been sweet to have this engine to throw right onto his mower, but he got a new mower, so I don't need that engine anymore. So I'm just gonna fix this lawn tractor. It's got a leaky sump gasket, of course, so I'm gonna change that. It's got a bald tire. I'll probably just send that one, honestly. And, uh, yeah, so it should run. It's also got a bad uh, the switch. Uh, when you kick the PTO off, does not kick on the handle. There's something broken. So I'll probably just weld a piece of metal onto that to make it kick that switch when you, when you turn it off, you know? And the snapper, it mostly just needs a tire. So forget. We'll see. Uh, I guess I'll start with the snapper. I love old snappers. They're just goofy and they do wheelies and they're just funny. So we'll start with the snapper. Get a look at the snapper here. See if we're kind of uh, good enough to run it. I smell good gas in there. Sort of good, probably a year or so old. Let's make sure she's revved up to fast. Key on. Let's give her, oh man, we're about out. Well, that'll give her a good, good enough amount to start here. What was that? Oh, that was one of the uh, air filter things. This cover is loose. Hmm. Let's see if it's got spark. One of these weird plugs, see if anything comes out of it. All right, this needs to be dealt with. Just missing a bolt there. Okay, so I'm gonna check for spark. Check for spark. Now, I'm feeling like it has decent compression, so I'm just gonna shoot some brake clean in right here. And if it doesn't fire, gotta hook up the compression test. It's an old flathead. It could have a stuck valve from sitting, who knows. It's time for a compression test. All right, that's about 65, 70. That's enough to run. So, the problem here is I don't really know. Or am I just an idiot? <laughs> non flammable. That's not going to burn. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, some other good brake parts cleaner, little start stuff. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That'll run it. Now we're gonna use a hotter two cycle plug here. I'm not thinking this will work, but we'll give it a try. Ho ho, success. Don't you know, turn it to fast. Shoot a little bit of this down the carb. See what it does. Yeah, that was, I'm gonna have to quit buying that non-flammable brake cleaner. Yeah, so we just got a uh, dirty carburetor. That's the problem here. I'm gonna keep, uh, try that a few more times. Sometimes it's just old gas gets in that bowl and once it gets fresh stuff from the tank, it runs a little better. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna drop the bowl and see what it looks like. And that'll give me a chance to look at this gas and I'll just go ahead and drain this gas out and put in some good non-ethanol stuff while I clean the car. But of course, easy, lazy way first, we're just gonna keep on trying this. First stop is gonna be draining this fuel and I'm gonna just disconnect the line from here. It looks easier. So that's gonna be the route. This should just come on out, make a huge mess, and then I'll catch it in this pan. Now, oh, zoom me all back out just a bit. There we go. Looks like decent fuel. Look at that. Yeah, that, that looks okay. But uh, I'm still taking it out, putting some non-ethanol in. This is a good time to test the old tank vent, which is working flawlessly. But uh, I'm still going to take that off. You know, I was smelling this gas a little more and I, I don't think this was good fuel. I mean, I'm sure it probably would run on it, but it's not new. And it's probably at least, like I said earlier, a year or maybe even two years old. This guy hadn't been cutting with this mower in a while. So yeah, I'll just let this finish and then I'll go ahead and drop the bowl. So I'm gonna let it drain out of this little line here. Getting this old bowl drain off. These are usually half inch or 13 for us metric using folk. So get that off, see what we get here. Fully expecting to smell like gas for the next week. Here's our uh, bowl drain. Let's see what awaits. This came out pretty easy, so that usually means it's not too bad in here. No, take a look in there. That wasn't going to run. That's water. And a little crap in there, too. Does it float? Hold that. Tecumseh likes to use these metal floats, and it doesn't feel like there's much water in here. I will leave. The carb doesn't look great. It doesn't really look terrible either. The bowl gasket's pretty much on here at this point. So I'm gonna do the right thing, like Vice Grip Garage would say, and just clean this out and put it back together and see if it works. I've got a very specific method I use to clean this. It's really, really easy. Do you like that? Right on through, go down through it. Poke, 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 poke. Then through again. And now I'm just gonna go blow it out with some compressed air. Put a little bit of gas into her. And now I'm just making sure that bowl gasket isn't gonna completely degrade in front of our eyes. And now at this point, just put her on choke. Do a little hoping and see what she does. All righty, let's give her the geese. Mm -hmm. Make sure that float's working. Yeah. 
just uh, try a little more fuel here. full of surprises isn't it now what I'm gonna do is show you all how I beat a tire it's a little ratty a little dangerous but uh, it's easy so that's gonna be the route we're taking here let's get this wheel on off of this thing yeah that was really smart of me to, to park it right next to this one just get this one on Ooh, out of the way let's see what you got to work with here That may, may need to be warmed up a bit. Oh, the wheel's just held on by these. So, or, or is it? No, that holds the rim together. No, that holds the wheel on. Okay. Let me talk y'all through the three steps I take to beat a tire. The first one is I just wrap a ratchet strap around here, get it snuggied onto the rim, and shoot some air into it. If it beads then, super mint. You'll notice I've got a bucket full of water here. The next method is I spray a ton of brake cleaner in here and take my torch and just poof and light it. Well, that's while the ratchet strap is around it. If it works, it'll blow the ratchet strap off and then immediately after it does that, you want to shoot air into it. Now, hopefully we don't have to use that one. I do believe we have reached the point of no return. So I'm going to light the torch, get it ready, shoot some of the good stuff down here, turn my head and hope I don't die. That didn't work. Let's try again. Scoot it over a little bit. Ratchet strap's burning. All right. Spin it around one time. Turn my head. This method isn't really working all that great for me right now. Because I'm out of the old brake clean. Brake clean. I'm gonna try a few other things with this. Well, that was an ordeal, but I got it. I used gasoline. Ran out of brake cleaner, but that's, that's good enough. 
I got that wheel back on. I'm noticing another issue here. See that chunk missing? Probably needs a new one of those. The rear end also looks like it's been leaking for quite a while. So I'm gonna just put everything back on it, start it up and ride it around a bit. Also probably put a bit of air in the other tires, at least check them. Like I said I did put a little bit of oil. Those are just hard. That's not gonna... I did put a bit more oil in it. So let's just uh, give it the geese, see what it does. This does not like to start back up after I've been running it. So I've got a hunch that the choke uh, thing here is not working correctly. So try and figure that out. Runs very well when it runs though. And it pulls fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. If I can uh, just get it starting easy, you know? At that point, I'll just sharpen the blades, change the oil, and send her on to her next home. We got a. Looks like we got something else holding us on here. What's that? PCV line. Okay. So that should be on choke. And sure enough, that's not giving us enough choke. So why isn't that working? Let's see. That isn't kicking this far enough in so it looks like maybe if I adjust this cable a bit that'll help so let's do that that's more like it let's see if it starts let's try that again so it did sputter off a little bit put it on about half choke and see what it does So that's pretty much fixed the let's look at this i just now saw this here serial number four three oh oh maybe it's an oh four no it has to be older than that uh, i don't know i know it's probably 90s because it has the it doesn't pop wheelies like the really old one i had i bet this is 90s so like I said, I'm gonna put the air filter and stuff back on, change the oil. I gotta go to Walmart, get some oil for it. I'm not putting the expensive stuff in here. But overall, I think this was a solid find. Got it running decent enough, so I'm gonna change the oil. So really all I need to do now is, I'd like to put a filter and a shut off in here, and I'd like to fix that and then just fill the case up with some grease. Yeah, it's filthy. Look at that. Oof. A little bit of metal in there too. When I get a mower that burns a little bit of oil, and I think this one does because the oil was somewhat low when I got it, I usually put about, I don't know, some of this in here. And this is just like off-brand Lucas Walmart stuff. Just get one funnel full of it. And we're good to go. I got it full of oil and I just try to stuff as much of this double lot grease into the rear end as I could. It's kind of tricky, but uh, I felt grease already in there. So I'm not really going to worry about it. It's fine. I want to grease these front wheels then we'll be with the pull starter which the problem here is that this stuff is just all rusted and corroded and it's not springing out like it should so i'm going to spray some pv blaster and some fluid film in here that should fix that i'm also going to spray some in the clock spring there that looks very rusty as well throw this around a little bit kick the blades on everything's pretty much perfect um i did have to tweak that idle screw a bit more because I don't know, I guess whatever was clogging that idle circuit just broke itself free. So I had to lean it out a bit. It was flooding itself. So that is actually perfect. Now I'm going to sharpen the blades. And I, this pull starter, 
I think it's this flywheel or this top piece of the flywheel. It's just the metal's worn down because these uh there's these are just gouged out. So this was making like a clanging sound and that was just wearing down the, the teeth on there. So I almost need to find another Tecumseh engine and switch that uh metal part out. I think I've got another one I can use, so that should work. But I'm going to just get the blade sharpened, and then I'm pretty much done with this for now. This is a good mower. This will be reliable. This blade is really dull. I'm going to just get him good and sharp. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'll show you all this thing in action. Start it up. Of course, like I said, I'm going to be replacing this pull start choke in the middle. fixing that pull start I put a bolt through here a washer and then a locking nut there it just needed a little resistance on those that plate to grab the teeth you know see how the teeth come out now and grab onto that thing so that's fixed <clears throat> I may end up keep keeping this mower I like it but I don't know if I can't get $200 for it I'll probably keep it and mow my yard with it